can see the weather today is pretty naff. Um, it's not raining, but it's like a misty rain. However, these seats have been sitting in my shed now for a few days um, and they're really getting in the way. So I really want to get them in the car um, and actually put them to use. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to fit them. Um, I might not be able to get as much footage as I would have liked because I want to be quite quick with this process and just get them in the car. Um, but I'll give you some shots of the seats before. I'll then put these ones in, give you some shots afterwards. Um, and then tonight I'm actually driving to my mum's house to go around hers um, which is quite a fair drive so I can give them sort of a little bit of a review and I can tell you about the pros and cons uh, compared to the old seats. So let's go ahead and get these nice leather Recaros in the Focus. Okay so I'm now currently sitting in the Focus and as you can see these are the old seats that I've been dealing with. Um, this car is a Ford Focus Mark II 1.6 LX and the LX is sort of like the spec model. Um, and the LX in the Ford range, at least the Ford Focus range, is the uh, almost the bottom of the barrel that really does not have many add-ons. Um, the only thing it really had is aircon. Uh, the seats are pretty standard, they're pretty boring. And as you can see, from like a side perspective, you can see the bolstering on them is almost non-existent. Uh, they really don't hold you in, they're not very forgiving, um, and they're not even that soft. So I'm hoping that these leather seats are gonna be a massive upgrade on what these are. I'm going to start with the front. You can see the back is about the same. No armrest in the middle either. The seats that I've got to install are from, a, I believe, a Ford Focus ST225. Uh, um, um, and it's actually a three-door model that they're from. So uh, the only downside to these is I am going to lose uh, the middle seat, so the passenger seat in the back. So this will essentially turn into a four-door car. But I never, ever, ever, rarely do I ever have more than two people in there. And if I do maybe three um, or even four at the, at the most. I've never once had five people in this car, um, so it's not really gonna be a massive issue. Obviously with the new seats being three door, um, the front ones are also gonna have the little lever on the side to move them forwards and backwards. Again, it makes no difference whatsoever in this car, you just won't use it. Um, if anything, it'll come in handy because I'll be able to lean this one forwards um, to get more stuff in the boot if I'm hauling something big around. So um, yeah, these are the seats that I'm gonna be changing. This one I'm sitting on, I'll try and show you. I'll get a shot of it. Um, it's all stained on it as well, so they're pretty horrible. Um, so I'm looking forward to changing these out. So I'm gonna start with the front. I'm gonna take these two out, the driver and the passenger, get them out and get the front two in. Um, I'll start with that. And in the rear, uh, there's one thing that I have to modify. Because I'm only gonna have two seat belts in the back, once the new ones are fitted, I have to remove one of the seat belt latches, one of these. Um, I actually have to take one of them out. I think it's this side. I'm gonna have to angle grind it off or something and get rid of that um, because the other seats won't fit if there's two of these here. So yeah, should be good fun. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna start with taking the front out. So I'm gonna take these out now. I think it's just like four Torx bolts that hold them in and an electrical connector. Um, so I'm gonna take them out first uh, and then we'll get the new ones in. Now I would have really liked to have hoovered all this up, um, but two problems with that. One, it's raining, so I don't really want to get the hoover out here. My house is all the way down the road, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, so I'm gonna have to put up with this for now. Maybe I'll brush it a little bit and get rid of some of it. But it's time to go grab our first Recaro, driver's side, um, and put that in. This is just a quick little before and after shot. This one obviously being the driver's side before, and this being the driver's side afterwards. You can see a massive difference just in every aspect. Just a much better looking seat, so. Oh my goodness, the difference is absolutely insane. I'm currently sitting in the Recaro, as you've just seen me fit. I um, haven't done the rest yet, but just look at the difference between this seat and that seat. It it's like hugging me. I feel like there's someone sitting behind me, like spooning me and hugging me from behind, like a teddy bear. It's unbelievable. It's hugging me on my legs. You can see 
got massive bolstering on the legs. We've also got massive bolstering on my sides. It's just so much more comfortable. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm sitting in like a lounge chair, like a, a chair in someone's living room. It is ridiculous how different it is. I can't wait to get the rest of these in now. Uh, I'm going to crack on with the rest. I'll show you some bits and pieces of putting them in. Um, like I said, the back is going to be a little bit more difficult because I've got to make a modification to the seatbelt, um, but I'll do that as well. But wow, I am so impressed so far. Super impressed. That's going to make the driving experience of this car so much nicer. Wow. Just thought I'd show you this as well. The reason I got these so cheap um, was because there is a few imperfections, a little hole in one of these headrests. I might be able to find a replacement one of these somewhere anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and plus I'm never gonna see it from in the front. Uh, and number two, on the backs, uh, I'll show you when I get them out here, but there's like a little hole near where the seatbelt thing goes down there, so um, that's why they were so cheap. But the front ones are in, as you can see. They look pretty damn good. I'm very impressed with them so far. Um, time to try and get the back ones in. Now, I want to just quickly explain what I'm going to have to do with the seat belts. The double on this side, I think I'm going to have to angle grind this one off. I was hoping I'd just be able to sort of tuck it down and hide it, but um, with it on the floor like that, it impedes with the new seat. I've already test fitted it to see if it's going to work. So, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to cut that one off. Um, and then on the other one, which goes here, I don't know what the hell that is. On the other one that goes here, um, I think I'm going to have to cut the middle seat belt off of it because I obviously need the buckle itself. However, on this part of the seat, the uh, belt and the buckle are all sort of part as one. So I think I'm just going to have to cut through the belt, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to start off by getting the actual seats in first and um, before I start messing around with the seat belts. Um, I'm just going to make sure the seats actually fit properly first um, and then we'll sort out the seat belt situation afterwards. Okay, so that's the backings of them in. I wasn't like 99% sure that they fit, but there was 1% of me that was like, are these three door seats actually gonna fit in the rear of my five door? Um, but they do, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so now comes the time where we have to modify a little bit just to get these to fit. I'm gonna have to cut this one seat belt thing off here. I'll take that out. Um, and then cut that off. And then for the other side, like I said, I'm gonna um, cut the seatbelt off the other one and then just use that. So I'll get that done, get them refitted, and we can finish off fitting uh, the last of the leather seats. Okay, so this is the first one I'm gonna modify. Um, as you can see, it's gonna sit in the car that way up. So I need to keep this one, and this is the one that I need to cut off here. So I'm just gonna cut straight through that. Okay, so I've now got my two seatbelt buckles. This one is the uh, on the passenger side, you can see I've cut the seat belt off this one on that side. Then on the other one, you can see I've cut off one of the uh, buckles there. So now's the moment of truth. We're going to see if our handiwork has allowed these seats to fit. Let's just do a quick dry fit and see how we get on so that is in position there that's that one there so that fits quite nicely in there at least we didn't cut off the wrong one and for this other one I 
Nice, okay. So, as you can see, that fits in there lovely. This side fits in there lovely too. Um, there is a little bit of damage on this seat where someone's obviously kept hitting it with their knuckle or something, but don't worry about that. But there we go, I've just got to bolt them in. But look how good they look in the back as well. Amazing, I love it. Okay, so there you have it. The Focus has now got a full front and back um, leather Recaro interior. I can't express how excited I am to have some decent seats in this car for once. Um, the back passengers are going to be so much more comfortable if I ever have any. I know I'm only down to sort of two in the back now, but I'm really not bothered. They make the world of difference in this car. Um, I've tried to do sort of subtle changes to this car just to bring it up and make it feel a little bit more fancy because this is an LX model. It is a very basic model. It felt very cheap and tacky, um, but since having it, I've got a leather steering wheel now. I've got a decent head unit. Um, nicer little knobs on my dials, all these little changes. I also installed a armrest there, um, which flips up and stuff. And obviously now I've got the seats. Um, all these little changes have made the car feel so much nicer and so much more luxurious. It might still look a little bit rubbish on the outside. I did put some new wheels on it, which has improved the look on the outside a little bit. Um, but I've got other modifications that I want to do to the outside anyway. But now I feel like the interior is like 99% finished. I am super happy with how this has come out. Um, if you're doing this yourself, three door seats do fit in a five door. However, you do lose that rear seat. If that bothers you, obviously you're gonna have to look elsewhere, but it doesn't bother me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Um, if you can think of any little modifications I can do to this car to make it look a little bit nicer, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.